Gemini, hello beautiful soul, how are you? My name is Alicia, welcome. This is Empath Tarot, where spirit's messages directly correlate with being highly sensitive here on planet Earth. Now these messages are going to be general, so if they do resonate, like, share, and subscribe so we can get spirit's message out there to fellow empaths. If you would like to schedule a personal reading with Spirit and I, all of the details will be down in the description box. And for even more empath energy, check out my husband, Vince. He is over at 7D Tarot. You will love him. He gives such practical, easy to understand messages and advice from Spirit to truly help all of us empaths thrive here on this very dense planet. So you will get a lot out of him. I know you will. Let's dive right in. Oh my goodness. All right, Gemini, we have the Hermit card, Justice, Three of Wands, and and the knight, king of wands, excuse me. I can see right now that there's a little bit of turmoil going on in your energy centers. I feel like you're a little bit confused about what way you need to go. Here's the thing is that you have all the wisdom and all the clarity that it is that you're going to need, but wherever you put your focus and attention is what's going to manifest. So really ask yourself, what is it that I'm thinking about? What is it that I'm trying to manifest? Because again, if you're thinking thoughts of negativity or thoughts that you can't get it, or you don't deserve it, or it's difficult, or it's challenging, or, you know, this happened and now I don't have this, you know, all of these things our minds can lead us to. You really want to be mindful of that because I can see that the potential for your future here is so abundant. But the problem is, is that if we don't feel like we have this abundant future, then we're going to only emit that frequency. And the universe needs to have a certified frequency. The universe needs to know that you are ready. The universe will only give you what it is that you are ready for. And I see here that you're ready, Gemini, but do you see you are ready? Sometimes in order for us to feel that we are ready, we have to take more time with ourselves. We have to be more in alignment with ourselves. Seek solitude with ourselves, I should say, because being in alignment with our true self is always reconnecting to our spirit, our soul self. Because when we do that, then we always have the answers and we always know what moves we need to take to move forward. And I can see here that with the wheel card, everything is moving along exactly where it needs to be. Divine timing is orchestrating perfectly. Now all that's need for you, need, needing for you to do is to wait for everything to manifest. So just be present in the moment and allow yourself to be guided. Again, the only way that we um, don't feel like we're being guided or we, we feel stressed, we feel like we think, want things to happen right now, is if we've lost connection with who we really are and we've given more into the outside circumstances of our realities that we're identifying with what's going on around us because that's not who you are. Remember that, Gemini. What's going on in your outside world has nothing to do with who you are. So take a look now and see where it is that you are giving your power away to by overthinking things, by wanting something with you, that you don't have. It's giving your power away. It's taking you away from the desires to be truly manifested. Right now, understand that it is time to recognize that you're in transitioning time in a time where you are healing. Utilize this opportunity to heal. Go through those old shadows. Recognize when there's a time of, of feeling, um, you know, like, you know, separation or feeling any type of grief of some way. Because I feel like right now it, you, you're facing a certain level of separation from old self to new self. And this new self is extremely abundant, extremely successful, extremely purposeful. And I feel like that's exactly where you're absolutely headed right now. But in order for you to get the most results, what needs to happen, beautiful soul, is you need to take action onto something, okay? You need to take action to make you feel a little bit more in control of your desires and your destiny. Okay, because again, your destiny is in your hands and it always is manifested by the action steps we take. So if you want better results, you've got to implement new actions or you've got to try new things. Again, we have to be the change we want to see because I can see here that the universe is guiding you towards, a, a, again, a very abundant, very prosperous time ahead of you. But at the same time, you really want to see where it is that you can clear up old wounds and old shadows in the process. And how do you clear up shadows? Well, beautiful soul, whenever something comes, whenever you have an insecurity, a fear or a worry of something, you want to breathe into this fear or worry. You never want to push it aside because pushing it aside will just allow it to grow fangs and teeth and, and tails and, and horns and all kinds of crazy stuff. And so whenever we feel fear, anxiety, worry about something, right, we're overthinking something, we're, we're, we're creating this energy within ourselves where we're feeling, again, really anxious. So breathe through it. Big, deep breath in through the belly, in through the heart. Hold it let it out 
And then when you let it out, do it a couple times, right? Get yourself centered and grounded in your heart center, right? It's going to really make you feel more grounded. When this happens, you'll have more clarity. You will be able to have more awareness with your higher self. Higher self, where is this fear coming from? Angels, where is this anxiety coming from? Then they will show you an old memory, perhaps a past conversation you had, perhaps a past event that had took place that will allow you to gather that information and be like, oh, that's not my fear. That was fear was projected onto me. Oh, that's not my anxiety. That anxiety is was projected onto me. You see what I mean? Because it's not who you are. Who you are is, is truly magnificent. And your, your light shines so bright. Truly, you need sunglasses, Gemini. But the thing is, is that in order for this light to shine bright, trust yourself. And a lot of the times in order for us to trust ourselves, we have to dive back in to who we are, being loyal to what it is that we truly love. So what is it that you love the most, Gemini? What is it that truly makes you feel engaged with yourself? Like you are in a full alignment, you are motivated, you are just living your best life, most abundant life. Nobody matters, nothing matters because you are doing what's best for you. That level of happiness and, mag and and vibration is very magnetic. And when we just stay true to being loyal to what we love and always following the advice and the guidance from our intuition, we truly always live that abundant life. And all of the, then your uh, vibrational set point will be on abundance and you don't have to worry about it. Everything will just be manifested to you. Because the thing is, is that spirit has a plan and it, the plan has already been implemented. The plan is already in place, right? So we are on our trajectory. trajectory. We are on our journey. We are on our way to our desires. It's always our human perspective that intervenes and starts looking at past events that didn't happen the way we wanted it to, right? Our level of control. Maybe something that we used to do no longer we can do. Maybe we're asked to level up and we're no longer the habits we used to have no longer work for us, you know? And you know what I mean? Like we just got to understand that we're on our way. We're on our way. We just have to trust in the entire process. In order to trust, you got to do your part and just take action as much as you possibly can and being loyal to what it is that you absolutely love. Because I can see here, Gemini, it might be time for you to clear some energy. We have the dance card, okay? So moving your body to music. It's funny because this dance card says dance with the rhythm of life, which is quite... Um, quite quite exactly what I'm feeling uh, 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 quite comparable to to this uh, hermit card here with the solitude and also this three of bonds of just waiting for the fruits of your labor to happen because I'm sensing that the energy of these two cards together is really just allowing things to unfold and in the meantime be in alignment with yourself right get to know yourself more figure out what it is that makes you happy being happy loyal to what you love just dance but again also that energy of clear energy out move your body right get things moving and ultimately watch where those thoughts go because if those thoughts are headed in a negative direction you will uh, your vibrational set point will be negative if your thoughts are switched over to being grateful and appreciative for everything you have then your vibrational point will be of that and that's what's most important to recognize Gemini because understand that you have a powerful magnetism a, a manifesting energy everybody does every soul does you have it as well you're very very important to the ecosystem of the energy of the world because you being in your highest alignment uh, to completely um, benefits everyone around you. So it's almost like paying it forward. The happier and more abundant you are, the happier and more abundant the people are around you because it's magnetic. You, you emit that frequency, right? So it's time to believe in miracles. And it's time to switch up that energy and it's time to switch up your thoughts into what it is that you do desire, what it is that makes you happy, right? If you're thinking something and it's not making you happy, it's time to switch that up because you're only doing a disservice to yourself and of course others around you, but it's always for your own journey, right? And it, it is your birthright, Gemini, to have everything that you desire. It's your absolute birthright. So, you know, it could be this human experience could be lived so much differently have we just have our focus set on what it is that we want, right? Again, if we're focused so much on the issue or the problem of what's going on, we very, very much miss the opportunity that's around us. We miss the happiness. We miss the uh, uh, possibility is really what it is. We miss the possibility. And there's just it's just not worth living. Here we have magic. This works through you. Scare beetle spirit. Look at this. Magic. Magic. Oh, come on. That... 
There are no coincidences here, Gemini. You are a magician. You are a magical being. You can turn your reality, your life into a fairy tale, into an abundant lifestyle. The choice is yours, beautiful soul. All you have to do is start observing where your thoughts are going and start making sure that they only go to where it is that you want, not what is currently happening, not what has happened that didn't work, but what it is you want. Live in the present, right? Live in the present and allow yourself to be guided. Listen to your intuition. What does your intuition want? What does your intuition need? Follow that and happiness will come. The magic will come back into your life. All right, empath. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like, share, and subscribe. I truly appreciate you. Spirit loves you. I love you, Gemini. And until our next reading, keep shining, baby.